Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Raveen, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ink Thoughts podcast. Yeah, so... Um, as you can see from the title itself, yeah, today I'm going to talk about small talk. But before I go into that, yeah, you know, let's just do some small talk itself. Yeah, like yeah, how's the weather today at your place? Yeah, it's been a rainy and gloomy day here over here in the UK. Yeah, and today this morning it actually snows a bit. It was quite surprising, as in, well, the weather forecast did tell us that it's probably going to snow, but um, I remember it says um it should be snowing from about about six or seven a.m. But no, it didn't happen, and it's all the way until ten a.m. that it suddenly started snowing. Yeah, it was quite surprised looking at it, but it didn't snow for too long. So yeah, there's no accumulate snow out there. It's just like a very rainy day, kind of wet, wet floor out. Yeah. Well, now let's get back to our topic itself, small talk. <laughs> so, um, not quite sure if you guys know it, yeah, but I'm actually a very, very introvert person since young. I could remember when I was still in primary school, um, I mean, at the very beginning, I had so little friends because I'm just too introverted. So, it's probably around like two months in, I rarely have any friends. I had one friend that I made since um, kindergarten. Yeah, so we were quite close. And so I, I'll say I had just this one close friend during that time. How sad it is, right? When I try to reflect back. Anyway, then there was this one day that she didn't turn up for school. She, I think she was sick or something. Yeah, so you know, that day itself, um, I was because I was in afternoon class that time, so um, we w- we need to queue at a specific area before we can go into our class. Yeah, then I was keep looking at the entrance that she usually comes in, but no, she's no, she's not coming in, and it's time for us to go into our classes now. That means she's not coming today. Then that time itself, I mean, during that moment itself, I felt like my world crashed. I felt so anxious and fearful. Now that I look back, I think I somehow had attachment issue in the past. I'm not quite sure. And yeah, obviously being inconfident as well. Mm, So that just makes me think, I mean, reflect on it. And I know I can't do this forever. Yeah, I need to come up from it. But fortunately, slowly, I have more and more friends. Although I'm still very introverted, but... I somehow was able to, you know, make a lot of friends throughout the journey of growing up. I'm really lucky to have been surrounded by all these friends. And but still, there were a lot of times um, I really struggled to be in a place or event that I don't know anyone at all. Yeah. It was until when I went to university for my pre-university course. I remember it was the registration date, probably a week before the course started. I went alone. Of course, like, you know, it's a time to grow up, right? I'm out of high school now. I should be responsible of my own own stuff, my own university courses and stuff. I was kind of scared, actually, but still kind of excited. You know, you're starting a new life kind of feeling. Yeah. So when I went, I did notice that a lot of people actually came with their parents. Yeah, I was quite surprised, actually. But yeah, that's another story. That's another story for another day. So the main point is I was quite confused what to do that time because I went alone and I was just so confused. I don't really know what am I supposed to do during a registration day for a university course. That's my first time. But ended up, I encouraged myself to step out of my comfort zone, go to a stranger, start opening up a conversation with her while waiting. Yeah, both of us were just waiting. She came alone as well. So... Everything went all right, and that was my first step of doing so. You know, step out of my comfort zone, go to someone, try to, you know, start a conversation with a stranger. 
since then, once in a while, when needed, I could force myself to kind of speak to people in a new environment. It was especially obvious when I came to UK for my master's degree, because I was all alone at the beginning of the courses, and I knew if I don't take any initiative, I'll end up being alone and can't make any friends at all. And I truly understand how important it is to have friends. Yeah, and I didn't want that to happen though. At the beginning, I was very worried and anxious about this whole thing. That I came back home crying because I didn't manage to make any friends at the first day or so. But from that time onwards, I have a quite a number of events attend on my own, and it somehow forces me to start getting into small talk a bit a bit more often. Guess what? Small talk is actually so common here in the UK. Yeah, and if you don't really know what small talk is, small talk is actually、um, a light and formal conversation that people use when、um, talking to others that they don't really know well or someone that you just met for the first time. Yeah, sometimes when you get into an Uber, they'll just do small talk with you. Yeah,、uh, to you know, the journey is kind of boring and to kill the awkwardness as well. <laughs> yeah, so it might be easier for you to imagine. People who are at a networking event, yeah. When you first meet someone, you kind of come up with some thing light and easy to engage with or to answer to start a conversation, and usually those could be referred to as small talk. From my experience, even before people really start small talking, they always greet you like you're all right all the time, which is so nice, yeah. Because you know you kind of sense that people are being friendly to you and. You could sense the warmth from people as well. However, although I've started becoming <clears throat>、um, slightly better at small talk, to be honest, I'm still very bad at it. <laughs> yeah, if I were to handle a conversation, unfortunately, sometimes I might only be able to continue the conversation for maybe two minutes, and I'll run out of something to say.、Mm, then it becomes quite awkward during time at, like this. Yeah. I'll say I'm actually quite bad at opening up new conversation, but I'm trying to improve on that. And so comes this, I mean, episode because yeah, I was doing some research and try to apply it into my own life. Yeah, and if you've been following Ink Thoughts for quite a while, you might remember very long ago Andrew and I had talk about conversation starters before, and I'll say small talk is actually. Similar or even the same thing as that, yeah. So I thought, <clears throat> why not we try to talk about the importance of small talk here and share some、um, ideas that I've learned about getting better at small talk, yeah. So when I try to think about the importance of small talk, the first thing that come to me is it's actually a very important component in social skills where we could tap into better conversation, better connection with someone, especially people that we want to learn more about. Building connection is such a normal thing that everyone wants to do because no man is an island, and we are social animals. I mean, we human. We want to be surrounded by people. We crave for those connections. It is just human nature. Hence, utilize small talk could help you get into building those connections that you want easier. And the next thing is, it actually enhance and boost. The positive energy, which potentially could improve our overall well-being, it is because of the positive and pleasant exchanges we had during the conversation itself. It could also promote positive things like learning, active listening, and etc. During, you know, the conversation. Although it is a small talk, sometimes you would undoubtedly find yourself to have learned something through that short conversation per se. And now, when we try to think about, like, yeah, how can we actually get better or practice more to get better at small talk? So first of all, take advantage of the free information. Like in the UK, people talk a lot about the weather. It is really something that we do very often here. Why? Because the weather is just so unpredictable all the time, and a lot of the time it seems quite gloomy. And sometimes, if it rains, it creates another thing for you to talk about as well. Like, for example, your plans got interrupted or cancelled because of that, or 
um, if it's a very good weather, you're going out for, let's say, a picnic or something, yeah, everything will just add um, more interesting to that conversation. And maybe like this morning when it snows, you could discuss about how beautiful it is. Or people ask, or I mean, ask people if they like snows or something similar. Next thing is, be genuine when trying, I mean, when asking questions or answering to people's questions. People could feel it easier than you imagine, actually. For instance, I remember there was this one time when I was still doing my master's. That day, we had a presentation and um, my course mates and I, we, we've decided um, in advance that after the presentation itself, we'll go all go out for um, a lunch to kind of celebrate that we go through it. I mean, we successfully yeah, went through it. <clears throat> so afterwards, um, some of them decided to stay a, a little longer in the city for a drink, but I didn't want that. I have something else afterwards, so I went back first. So I remember I was walking alone in the city that time, and there was this one man that walked mm, towards my direction. Yeah, Suddenly, he stopped and talked to me. I was quite surprised actually, yeah, but he was basically saying that he really liked my shoes and how amazed it is that I could maintain the cleanliness of my shoes under the rain. Yeah, it was raining that day quite heavily. Yeah. So I thank him for his compliment and this whole experience doesn't make me feel uncomfortable at all because it is actually very, very random. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Why? Because I could feel how genuine he is when he was saying that yeah mm, then next thing that we could probably use is mm, use whatever questions that we could help in building the conversation like hobbies movies or books that you're reading or you would recommend yeah when mm, you're trying to build i mean trying to come up with something try not to go into topics that are too personal for the first time of your conversation such as marriage um family and etc that might tap a bit into people's privacy and stuff that people won't probably won't be comfortable sharing with you at the very first i mean at the very beginning of the conversation yeah and before you get to know that person a bit more it could be dangerous to just assume people are the same as us because it is definitely not to make the small talk experience good try to exit the conversation gracefully if that's a way to make a positive comment on anything related to your conversation or the person that you're talking to try to do that if no you could briefly recap the conversation such as i enjoy listening to your adventures it's been great talking to you but i need to get going or i don't want to take up too much of your time and etc yeah that would leave a positive image of yours in that person's mind too and you will never know maybe sometimes Something small but positive like this could really make a person stay. Yeah. So um, I guess that's it from me about, you know, um, small talk and how to get better at it today. Yeah, hope everyone enjoyed it. Please comment down below what are your favorite, um, you know, uh, small talk topics that you, you usually do or if there are any tips from you that, I mean, how to improve your small talk skills, stuff like this, please feel free to comment down below. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess that's it for today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple podcast. If you're not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at hello at ingthoughts.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of ingthoughtspop. Thanks again and see you all next week. Bye-bye.